All right, this morning we're going to be debugging the T-SQL error. The select list for the insert statement contains more items in the insert list. The number of select values much match the number of insert columns. Uh, this is actually the fourth time I've recorded this video. Um, there's, it keeps coming out with a lot of errors. So if you're happening to see the very first edition of this video, it's gonna look really weird. Um, but the software program that I'm using for recording video, which it is free, but it is awful. So. That being said, um, in this situation, there are two situations you will usually see this error. An insert into table name, select star from other table, or insert into table name, column list, select star from other table. And in this case, we're, we're selecting star from sales calls, and we're inserting into one column. So we can almost guess from looking at the error that there's probably multiple columns and sales calls there's not just one so a lot of people would incorrectly go ahead and ding sales calls to see what's on there now that may be great for your environment but you cannot always depend on environments that being the policy of each environment in fact we fired someone at where i currently work because they selected what was it count star from a table even with no lock and they still fired the person so don't ever 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 select any type of star, count star, you name it, from a production table. You do it in dev, but you have to trust that dev is going to match production. So my suggestion, use views. So we're going to look at sales calls. Part of it is know your environment, but get in that habit because if you ever change jobs and you go work for some other environment, some of them will fire you really quickly. They won't even give you a chance. You'll see we have two columns on this table. So if we say select salesperson, it'll go through. So you'll want to make sure that the number of columns in this table matches the number of columns in this table. Also, be careful that the columns that you're selecting star from or that you're selecting from match the columns that are in the table that you're inserting into. For instance, I'm not going to be able to insert an int into an identity field because it's an identity field that automatically increments. So that's just a note um, to consider. Now I'm going to pause and let the video run a little bit longer and then shave off the end of the, um, the sound because right now what this is doing is this is pumping out longer sound than video.